Live from ABC 7, this is News at 11. Well, video shows flames shooting from a home on Pine Island during Hurricane Milton. Tonight, we're learning the man who owns that home is also battling cancer. Thanks for staying up with us for ABC 7 at 11. I'm Channing Frampton. And I'm Megan Miller. ABC 7's Madison Adams checks on him as he works to rebuild his life while also trying to stay healthy. Dennis Bledsoe is battling lung cancer. Being retired also, couldn't, couldn't have had a better life. Um, and then a month and a half ago, I found out I have a, a bad lung cancer that needed to come out right away. Right before Hurricane Milton, he was released from the hospital, looking forward to spending time at home with his dog, Bubba. I had to have an x-ray today. I just had lung surgery three weeks ago. But instead of peace, he had to evacuate for the storm. Then disaster struck again. We got a call from someone that was standing with the fire department here and uh, said it's a total loss. It's been burning for hours and the high winds of like 60, 80 mile an hour blows were just fueling it up. It not only destroyed the house, but it destroyed the boat. Doesn't make a lot of sense, probably lightning. His home and his neighbors on Skipper Lane in St. James City were both engulfed in flames. Hurricane Milton reduced everything he owned to nothing but rubble. That's a, a big pill to swallow. All Dennis has left is a couple pair of clothes and his pup to keep him companionship. We've talked to uh, Salvation Army. They just said, uh, hey, come back uh, when you get a housing and we'll give you a coupon for 20 bucks. $20 won't even begin to cover his needs. And I can't see that how I could afford to rebuild here again. Dennis isn't only worried about rebuilding. His health is uncertain. I just had another x-ray and I'll be probably going back in the hospital for a couple days. In St. James City, Madison Adams, ABC7.